ain't no stopping us. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction. And today I want to talk to you guys about a common muscle imbalance that can afflict so many of us. And this is the muscle imbalance that occurs between your upper and your lower traps. And your trapezius muscle is pretty much this diamond shaped muscle in your back. And this can, this could, this causes a lot of issues in many people's neck. Many people, they get these things called trigger points or these muscle knots. But anyways, there's an upper, middle, and lower part to your trapezius muscle. And the upper part is stronger than the lower part. It's naturally stronger than the lower part. And your upper traps elevate your shoulder up like that. So, they do shoulder, so when you do shoulder shrugs, you're using them. And your lower traps, they depress your shoulder blades to bring them down and retract them back. So they do this. They are depress and they retract as well. And so many of us, we exacerbate that muscle bounce because if you do a lot of shoulder shrugs in the gym without exercising your lower traps, you're gonna make that muscle bounce even greater. And if you hold a backpack, you carry that on your back, you're gonna be using your upper traps to stabilize that backpack. So if you don't work out your lower traps, but only use your upper traps, this can cause issues like neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, it can cause shoulder issues. And so that's not good, you don't want that. So you want to correct this as much as you can. So essentially, I'm gonna give you two things to do right now. So, and I've discussed this in my previous videos, but here's what you can do. So, you wanna stretch your upper traps. How do you do that? Very simple, very simple. Pretty much, you look at, look right here, look what I'm gonna do. Okay, so say I'm stretching this side. First, take the hand on the side you're stretching. Pretend like you're reaching down and grabbing something. So reach down and hold that position. Now, you're going to side bend your head to the opposite side. If this hurts you, by the way, don't do it. If it hurts you, don't do it. So side bend your head to the opposite side. Rotate it to the same side. Come down like that. Use your other free hand to help you. So go like this. And I feel the stretch right here. Hold that for 30 seconds. Do it twice on each side. So that's gonna stretch your upper traps. Loosen it up a bit. It's always good to do that. And now, what you're gonna do is strengthen your lower traps. How do you do this? Well, first of all, well, let's go to the gym first. When you're in the gym, a great exercise to do is to take that lat pull down bar, bring it all the way down to you. When you do that, you're retracting and depressing your shoulder blades. So, if you hold that isometrically, isometric means the muscle's contracting but not moving. So, you can do this 30 second isometric hold to build up your lower traps. Also, the Y exercise is a great exercise. It's really called the YTW, but the Y part especially, when you come up into a Y position, it's going to retract and depress your shoulder blades. So do that with say five pounds on each side. You don't want to ego lift here because this muscle is very weak in a lot of people. So you can do that and also when you're doing pull-ups, come up, hold it at the top. Because then when you hold it at the top, you are retracting and depressing. So. This is pretty much a muscle imbalance video. I'm gonna do a lot more of these in the future. I have, I think my next one, I'm gonna likely do it on the muscle imbalance between the calves and the tibialis anterior muscle. So, I think this is a good series to focus on and this is what I'm gonna do. So anyways, if you like the video, thumb it up, comment, subscribe. If you have any new ideas, let me know. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.